When we are running the applications at home lab or in office, so the best way to run the applications is to use the Docker containers or containers in fact. Docker containers offer fantastic way to run the applications. For a while walk, I thought I should be sharing popular applications which are built into containers and these are divided in various categories. First of all, network and reverse proxy. Nginx proxy manager is a modern reverse proxy with automated configuration and there are various options also which are available within Nginx proxy manager. Of course, reverse proxy helps you to safeguard your applications from the external attacks. Similarly, traffic is also one of the modern and dynamic reverse proxy with automated configuration. Another is Caddy, which is a lightweight, easy to configure reverse proxy uh, which supports many protocols. Then if I talk about DNS server and even the ads blocker, Pihole is one of the best that I have been using for a long time. It's easy to use, easy to configure. It helps you to block the unwanted ads and even if you want to block the sites also. And it's a complete DNS server that can be used in your home lab or in your office as well. I've been using in office also to block the unwanted ads. And of course it is 100% free. You don't need to pay anything for the pi hole. Then is unbound. Unbound is the recursive DNS resolver. And then if I talk about VPN servers, the popular open source VPN server is the open VPN. Then is the WireGuard as a container. If I talk about the media servers, the most popular media server that I have been using is uh, the Plex. Jellyfin is also one of the open source alternative for Plex. And now if I talk about the downloaders, uh, there are various downloaders like you have been using maybe BitTorrent. Sonar, which is the TV show management. Then is Radar. Radar is also movie management. And then if I talk about Qubit Torrent, Qubit Torrent is the BitTorrent client, uh, which is built into container. And let's talk about gaming. Retro Arch is all-in-one gaming emulator. Now let's talk about Git servers, Gitia, which is the lightweight Git server, and then GitLab. GitLab is the comprehensive Git platform with CI and CD. So next cloud is the best cloud application for the storage and collaboration. And then for home automation, Home Assistant is most popular. And I have been using Home Assistant for a long time. And this is an open source, in fact, as in containers, you might have the open source and the commercial containers also. Even OpenHab is also one of the another open source automation platform which is available. If I talk about the identity and access management, Key Clock is one of my choice. I have been using that for a long time. Then is Authentic. Authentic is also single sign-on solution similar to Key Clock. And if I talk about the password management, Bitwarden is open source password manager with the cloud sync option and if i talk about security tools fail to ban to ban the brute force attack for the visualization and monitoring grafana can be used for the visualization and monitoring to manage all the containers portainer is of course one of the best container to manage all other containers it has the paid version also but it has the free version also you can use either paid version or free version depending upon what exactly you want to do with that you can also have a WordPress as a container. In case you want to run the databases, you can separately run MySQL or MariaDB in the container. You can also use Ubuntu server as a container. Many other applications can also be used in container. If I talk about the business applications, ERP Next, so you can run ERP Next also inside the container. So these are some of the containers that I have mentioned here. Of course, there are many more containers uh, depending upon what exactly you're looking for. But these are some of the common containers and uh, the containers that I use on everyday basis. And one of the containers uh, that I use is SyncThing. SyncThing can also be used as a container and you can also map your external folders with the SyncThing. This was a comprehensive list of containers that I have been using. If you think that I have missed something, you can mention the details in the comments. And if you want to know how we can get started with these containers, I'm using Proxmox to run the Docker engine, whether in Alexi container or in a virtual machine. You can also run the Docker in Windows. I have provided the link of all of these in the description where you can learn how to get started with Docker and how to run the Docker container. So hope you like this video. See you next video. Take care and goodbye.